What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in Java game development. Now in this video series what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make awesome computer games using Java and also a library known as Slick. Now I'm assuming that you guys already know the basics of Java programming and I don't mean like networking and multi-threaded programs I just mean the basics like how to make a class, how to make a simple method, variables, if statements so on and so forth. But if this is your guys first introduction to programming or Java in general then what you can do is you can go to my website thenewboston.org click on tutorials and click on Java beginner. Now go ahead and watch all these videos I think there are 87 of them and once you do you're gonna be ready to move on to game development. So now that I say that I want to go ahead and mention this what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the Eclipse program so make sure that you have Eclipse installed and Eclipse is basically an IDE pretty much an environment where that's where we're going to write our Java code so now let me go ahead and give you guys an introduction before I start typing any code on the screen what we're going to be doing for this tutorial is like I said we're going to be using Java but we're also going to be using something called Slick now you can go there if you go to this website it tells you all about it Slick is a game library based on the lightweight Java game library now the lightweight Java game library in this website is this one right here is a library that's used to make games like Minecraft maybe you've heard of that before and tons of other sweet Java games and if you guys are like okay Slick lightweight Java game what the heck is even what's a library I don't know what a library is well to put things really really simple and in <laughs> if your computer science teacher heard me give this definition they probably drop kick me in the face but the most simple way I can put it is libraries are pretty much pre-built code that you can use in combination with your code to make things a whole lot easier like I said that's not the technical definition but it's pretty much a bunch of methods that other people created and they're like here you go these are the confusing methods the boring stuff like rendering graphics and working with memory this is all the boring crap we put them in a library for you so all you need to do is worry about concentrating on the fun stuff the game itself the movement things crashing into each other sounds graphics all that good stuff so that's the introduction to uh, you know what a library is and why we need to use them so now let me go ahead and show you guys how to set up your game file so go ahead and open Eclipse and it's probably gonna say you know default workspace okay whatever you have is good now once you have this open and I think I just downloaded this one your guys might be a little bit different but uh, what you need to do is you need to make a new Java project so go ahead and hit file new project or if you guys just have the uh, option of Java project some of my versions of Eclipse have it but if you don't just go ahead and go to project and then you can select Java project and just go ahead and click next and now we want to give this project a name so what would be a good name for our game how about ham blaster if you guys can't tell already I'm pretty much gonna wing it uh, programming this so ham blaster we'll say we'll make a game about a bunch of hams going around and blasting things sounds pretty cool now go ahead and click next and uh, okay everything looks good to go you could have clicked finish back there if you want to but go ahead and click finish and it says okay yada 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 actually I probably should read this oh yeah just go ahead and click yes whoever reads those terms of service agreements anyways not me alright so now we made a new project and it's named hand blaster guys if you don't name hand, it hand blaster it's not gonna work so now go ahead and expand hand blaster let me go ahead and tighten this up a little bit I don't like that so big okay expand this so now you see source and JRE system library and once you have that expanded go ahead and right click this source now once you go ahead and right click the source select new package because we want to create a new package now what can we name this package let's just name it can't don't name it hand blaster that'll get too confusing Java game alright go ahead and click finish and guys another really easy definition if you don't know what a package is a package pretty much just organizes all your classes pretty much organizes 
your files. I'll just say it like that. So yeah, I hope you know someone's gonna be like, well, technically it's access a resource. And uh, you know what? Forget it. It just organizes crap. Okay. All right. So now that we have a package called Java Game, what we need to do now is we need to make some folders for our game. I, and I know I say folders wrong. A lot of people tell me that. I think it's because I live near Canada and they're like, oh, he's a boot folder duels. And you know, anyways. So go ahead and right click Hand Blaster again and select new folder now go ahead and name this one lib finish we now have a lib folder now go ahead and do the same thing right click hand blaster new folder and instead of lib name this one res finish so now we have two folders check it out lib in res so now what we need to do is we need to make two more folders however we don't make them just like we did before by right clicking hand blaster we actually need to make these inside the lib folder so how do you do this well you need to go ahead and right click lib new folder and this first one is named jars because we're going to be putting jars of things in here like mayonnaise and you know um jelly and you know stuff like that so this is where we're gonna put all our jars of stuff now we also need another folder called natives so right click lib new folder n-a-t-i-v-e-s and finish because that's where we're gonna be uh, putting all our natives like native people to the you know Hawaiian island and Native Americans and stuff so now that we got all of our project crap set up then uh, you know what the next thing we have to do is actually install slick but this video is getting awfully long and if someone sees like a 10 minute video they're like my attention span isn't that long I'm not watching that crap but you know I guess for them we'll just save that to the next video so anyways thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the latest and greatest videos concerning the development of this game it's gonna be awesome I'm excited and oh yeah follow me on Twitter and Google Plus and I'll see you guys in the next video